XML HTTP request is an API available to web browser scripting languages such as JavaScript. It is used to send HTTP or HTTPS requests to a web server and load the server response data back into the script. Development versions of all major browsers support URI schemes beyond HTTP and HTTPS, in particular, blob. URLs are supported. The name was standardized to XML HTTP request for compatibility. It may be misleading, in particular because any data may be received from the server, not just XML. Data are also commonly received as JSON, HTML, or as plain text. Data from the response can be used to alter the current document in the browser window without loading a new web page. The response data can also be evaluated by client-side scripting. For example, if it was formatted as JSON by the web server, it can be converted into a client-side data object for further use. XML HTTP request has an important role in the AJAX web development technique. It is currently used by many websites to implement responsive and dynamic web applications. XML HTTP request is subject to the browser's same origin policy, for security reasons, requests will only succeed if they are made to the same server that served the original web page. History and support, the concept behind the XML HTTP request object was originally created by the developers of Outlook Web Access for Microsoft Exchange Server 2000. An interface called XMIT Request was developed and implemented into the second version of the MS XML library using this concept. The second version of the MS XML library was shipped with Internet Explorer 5.0 in March 1999, allowing access, via ActiveX, to the XMIT Request interface using the XML HTTP wrapper of the MS XML library. The Mozilla project developed and implemented an interface called NSI XML HTTP request into the Gecko layout engine. This interface was modeled to work as closely to Microsoft's XMIT request interface as possible. Mozilla created a wrapper to use this interface through a JavaScript object which they called XML HTTP request. The XML HTTP request object was accessible as early as Gecko version 0.6 released on December 6 of 2000, but it was not completely functional until as late as version 1.0 of Gecko released on June 5, 2002. The XML HTTP request object became a de facto standard in other major web clients, implemented in Safari 1.2 released in February 2004, Conqueror. Opera 8.0 released in April 2005, and iCab 3.0B352 released in September 2005. The World Wide Web Consortium published a working draft specification for the XML HTTP request object on April 5, 2006, edited by Anne Van Kesteren of Opera Software and Dean Jackson of W3C. Its goal is to document a minimum set of interoperable features based on existing implementations allowing web developers to use these features without platform-specific code. The last revision to the XML HTTP request object specification was on November 19, 2009, being a last call working draft. Microsoft added the XML HTTP request object identifier to its scripting languages in Internet Explorer 7.0 released in October 2006. With the advent of cross-browser JavaScript libraries such as jQuery and the prototype JavaScript framework, developers can invoke XML HTTP request functionality without coding directly to the API. Prototype provides an asynchronous requester object called AJAX request that wraps the browser's underlying implementation and provides access to it. jQuery objects represent all wrap elements from the current client-side DOM. They all have a load method that takes a URI parameter and makes an XML HTTP request to that URI, then by default places any returned HTML into the HTML element represented by the jQuery object. The W3C has since published another working draft specification for the XML HTTP request object, XML HTTP request level 2, on February 25, 2008. Level 2 consists of extended functionality to the XML HTTP request object, including, 
but not limited to, progress events, support for cross-site requests, and the handling of byte streams. The latest revision of the XML HTTP request level 2 specification is that of August 16, 2011, which is still a working draft. As of December 5, 2011, XML HTTP request version 2 has been merged into the main XML HTTP request specification, and there is no longer a version 1 and a version 2. Support in Internet Explorer versions 5, 5.5, and 6, Internet Explorer versions 5 and 6 did not define the XML HTTP request object identifier in their scripting languages as the XML HTTP request identifier itself was not standard at the time of their releases. Backward compatibility can be achieved through object detection if the XML HTTP request identifier does not exist. Web pages that use XML HTTP request or XML HTTP can mitigate the current minor differences in the implementations either by encapsulating the XML HTTP request object in a JavaScript wrapper, or by using an existing framework that does so. In either case, the wrapper should detect the abilities of current implementation and work within its requirements. Until April 8, 2014 Microsoft supported Windows XP and so Internet Explorer 6, a JavaScript encapsulation example is provided below. HTTP request, the following sections demonstrate how a request using the XML HTTP request object functions within a conforming user agent based on the W3C working draft. As the W3C standard for the XML HTTP request object is still a draft. User agents may not abide by all the functionings of the W3C definition and any of the following is subject to change. Extreme care should be taken into consideration when scripting with the XML HTTP request object across multiple user agents. This article will try to list the inconsistencies between the major user agents. The open method the HTTP and HTTPS requests of the XML HTTP request object must be initialized through the open method. This method must be invoked prior to the actual sending of a request to validate and resolve the request method, URL, and URI user information to be used for the request. This method does not assure that the URL exists or the user information is correct. This method can accept up to five parameters but requires only two, to initialize a request. Open, method, URL, asynchronous, username, password. The first parameter of the method is a text string indicating the HTTP request method to use. The request methods that must be supported by a conforming user agent, defined by the W3C draft for the XML HTTP request object, are currently listed as the following. GET. Mozilla 1 plus, post, Mozilla 1, head, put, delete, options, however, request methods are not limited to the ones listed above. The W3C draft states that a browser may support additional request methods at their own discretion. The second parameter of the method is another text string, this one indicating the URL of the HTTP request. The W3C recommends that browsers should raise an error and not allow the request of a URL with either a different port or IOST URI component from the current document. The third parameter, a Boolean value indicating whether or not the request will be asynchronous, is not a required parameter by the W3C draft. The default value of this parameter should be assumed to be true by a W3C conforming user agent if it is not provided. An asynchronous request will not wait on a server response before continuing on with the execution of the current script. It will instead invoke the onReadistaTchange event listener of the XML HTTP request object throughout the various stages of the request. A synchronous request however will block execution of the current script until the request has been completed, thus not invoking the onReadistaTchange event listener. The fourth and fifth parameters are the username and password, respectively. These parameters, or just the username, may be provided for authentication and authorization if required by the server for this request. The setRequestHeader method, upon successful initialization of a request, 
the set request header method of the XML HTTP request object can be invoked to send HTTP headers with a request. Set request header, name, value. The first parameter of this method is the text string name of the header. The second parameter is the text string value. This method must be invoked for each header that needs to be sent with the request. Any headers attached here will be removed the next time the open method is invoked in a W3C conforming user agent. The send method, to send an HTTP request, the send method of the XML HTTP request must be invoked. This method accepts a single parameter containing the content to be sent with the request. Send, data. This parameter may be omitted if no content needs to be sent. The W3C draft states that this parameter may be any type available to the scripting language as long as it can be turned into a text string, with the exception of the DOM document object. If a user agent cannot serialize the parameter, then the parameter should be ignored. Firefox 3.0x and previous versions will however throw an exception if send is called without an argument. If the parameter is a DOM document object, a user agent should assure the document is turned into well-formed XML using the encoding indicated by the input's encoding property of the document object. If the content type request header was not added through set request header yet, it should automatically be added by a conforming user agent as application XML. Charset equals charset, where charset is the encoding used to encode the document. If the user agent is configured to use a proxy server, then the XML HTTP request object will modify the request appropriately so as to connect to the proxy instead of the origin server, and send proxy authorization headers as configured. The onreadistity change event listener, if the open method of the XML HTTP request object was invoked with the third parameter set to true for an asynchronous request, the onreadistity change event listener will be automatically invoked for each of the following actions that change the ready state property of the XML HTTP request object. State changes work like this, after the open method has been invoked successfully, the ready state property of the XML HTTP request object should be assigned a value of 1. After the send method has been invoked and the HTTP response headers have been received. The ready state property of the XML HTTP request object should be assigned a value of 2. Once the HTTP response content begins to load, the ready state property of the XML HTTP request object should be assigned a value of 3. Once the HTTP response content has finished loading, the ready state property of the XML HTTP request object should be assigned a value of 4. The listener will only respond to state changes which occur after the listener is defined. To detect states 1 and 2, the listener must be defined before the open method is invoked. The open method must be invoked before the send method is invoked. The abort method. This method aborts the request if the ready state of the XML HTTP request object has not yet become 4. The abort method ensures that the callback handler does not get invoked during an asynchronous request. Abort Some AJAX libraries use the abort method to cancel potential duplicate or out-of-order requests. The HTTP response, after a successful and completed call to the send method of the XML HTTP request, if the server response was valid XML and the content type header sent by the server is understood by the user agent as an Internet media type for XML, the response XML property of the XML HTTP request object will contain a DOM document object. Another property, response text will contain the response of the server in plain text by a conforming user agent, regardless of whether or not it was understood as XML. Cross-domain requests in the early development of the World Wide Web, it was found possible to breach users' security by the use of JavaScript to exchange information from one website with that from another less reputable one. All modern browsers therefore implement a same origin policy that prevents many such attacks, such as cross-site scripting. XML HTTP request data is subject to this security policy, but sometimes web developers want to intentionally circumvent its restrictions. This is sometimes due to the legitimate use of subdomains as, for example, 
making an XML HTTP request from a page created by foo.example.com for information from by.example.com will normally fail. Various alternatives exist to circumvent this security feature, including using JSONP, cross-origin resource sharing or alternatives with plugins such as Flash or Silverlight. Cross-origin XML HTTP request is specified in W3C's XML HTTP request level 2 specification. Internet Explorer did not implement CORS until version 10. The two previous versions offered similar functionality through the X domain request API. It is now supported by all modern browsers. The Corners protocol has several restrictions, with two models of support. The simple model does not allow setting custom request headers and emits cookies. Further, only the GET and POST request methods are supported, and POST only allows the following MIME types, text plane, application XWWW will encoded, and multi-part form data. Only text plane was initially supported. The other model detects when one of the non-simple features are requested and sends a pre-flight request to the server to negotiate the feature. See also, WebSocket, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, Representational State Transfer, AJAX, References. External links, Specifications, XML HTTP Request Specification from W3C, XML HTTP Request Level 2 Specification from W3C, Cross Origin Resource Sharing, Progress Events 1.0. Browsers, MSDN Library. Specification of the XML HTTP request object for Microsoft developers, X domain request. Specification of the XML HTTP request object for Mozilla developers, specification of the XML HTTP request object for Opera developers, other, new tricks in XML HTTP request 2, online tutorial by Eric Biderman, attacking Ajax applications, a presentation given at the Black Hat Security Conference. Discusses several issues involving XHR and the future of cross-domain AJAX. 1. Support end of Windows XP